Seamus Whelan has been out and about every day this week since from Monday of course the 5k is gone and people are all over the place east, west and north and he's trying to get out and meet as many people as he can and yesterday it was to sunny Crosshaven he went to to speak to locals tourists <laughs> as in Corkonians getting to go down to Crosshaven for the first time in a long time and also he popped into a few businesses there's been a lot of movement outside the 5k this week obviously because people can spread their wings and we wanted to get a flavour of people where, where where people were travelling to and how they were feeling about things so yesterday certainly down in Crosshaven drums please <laughs> Hi, Tony McCarthy is my own name. I've been working Trish and Phipps in Crosshaven, County Cork. Our local takeaway. Business has picked up since it came, since they lifted the 5k kilometre rules and we have seen a lot more tourists coming in than that. It was very busy the last three days now and it has paid off with the lifting of the 5k kilometres. And like, what was it like for the last three, nearly four months in lockdown for you? It was hard. Uh, we, we were tipping away all the time. But it wasn't as busy as what we should normally have been. We have a caravan site here in Fountainstown. If they were able to open them, it would bring more people to the village as well. Do you know, and everyone in the village then, not just ourselves, but all the other businesses would benefit from it as well. Oh, we're delighted. Yeah, great all together. Thrilled. Can get around more now. We came from Cork, the city. And, and did you miss Crosshaven for all those months? Oh, sure we did, of course, yeah. Missed the walks and everything. We'll be going to y'all tomorrow now. Can't wait to get around places. And do you think that by lifting the 5k that it kind of opens the door to staycations this year? Oh, definitely, definitely. I'd say we'll be open by July, I'd say. Hopefully, we'll all be able to go. But sure, why would you want to leave Cork anyway? That's true, that's true. We have everything around us, everything. Being a single mom, two kids. Well, yeah. Yeah. And like when your parents are living so far away then as well, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's great now to be able to just come out and walk around. And... My little four-year-old now, um, you know, was even asking about when his granny's going to have her second vaccine so she can keep go over and see her and play with her, and, you know? I mean, it was just strange to even hear him, like, saying the word second vaccine. Is she when she yeah, when he like, for a little four, four year old, old yeah. to actually say when's when's Granny having the second vaccine? I mean, I didn't even ever speak to him about it, but he's been picking it up in conversation about second vaccine and how he'll be able to see his Granny. So it's very strange. Like. Well, I'm very happy. I'm down in sale, and well, I'm a big walker. Like we just couldn't get out. Like just coming, to, uh, getting depressed and being inside for too long. We locked up too long, you know. They should have given us more room as such. Especially if you're fit enough to walk, you know. That's the only complaint I have about it. But, like, yeah. down in Kinsale, why would you want to leave Kinsale? Or why would you want to we leave We have lovely like walks down Kinsale, but you need a, a variety as well, you know. We couldn't go to the old head, for instance, like, a couple of kilometres short of it, but doing it always out there, which is a joke, you know. So, we're doing a Camino up the country in July now. He's got all three. A minute into Dublin docks. Six days walking. Yeah, you walk 20 miles a day, roughly. It's just nice to go somewhere s- somewhere different, especially when the weather is like this. It's fabulous. Just to be by the sea as well, you know. I, m- I miss the sea. So it's fantastic just to be out now and just to be able to see some s- somewhere new. I'm from Carrigaline. I didn't branch too far yet, but the, <laughs> at the weekend we'll, we'll go further afield, definitely. I just, you know, especially if this weather keeps up now, it's, it's a glorious morning today, so... Very happy to be here, meet my friends, you know, haven't seen them. It's an option Haven't now, seen them yeah. since Christmas, yeah. December, so it's amazing, yeah, delighted. So did you miss each other? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> and it's, yeah. a, it's, it's even better rather than doing it over Zoom, I would assume, oh, then. Oh, God, yeah, there's no comparison with Zoom. That, was, it, that was a novelty, I think, one or two turns, and then it just, it's, it's not the same. Lovely community. <laughs> They're really now young and old. Isn't that right? It's a lovely community to live in, really. We welcome visitors because there's loads of history around the area. Like, it's a beautiful area. Do you have all the sailing, the yachts? I live here in Crosshaven, and I've been out every day, every day, for the last two years, doing the social distancing, wearing our masks, finding it very hard to talk right now with my mask. No, but social distancing, like we do here on the benches. And so it like, didn't bother me. I, I can understand where somebody who is restricted would be delighted with their 5k being lifted. But like you want to leave Crosshaven? Me? God, no. Listen, if they could cremate me here, I'd be because I love it. I was born here. I was reared here. 
My mother was born here. All my children were born and reared here. My grandmother was born here. And to me, this is the only place on earth. Have I travelled? Yes. But I'd still come back to the only place on earth. Yeah, you would. Oh, I leave Crosshaven. But I have to come back. The minute, the minute I rung that line filling corner out there you know and see this village, mom, yeah. I'm at peace. Yeah. Neil Prendeville, the voice of Cork. Weekdays 9 to 12. Cork's Red FM. Red 